Keswick Weisenwell Center for Healthy Living in Baltimore, and I'm Serena. And I'm Nakia. And we're here, here to get dirty <laughs> with you. All right, so we've got some different plants and some do's and don'ts of what you should do. Yes. So, you want to tell them about this? Yes. So, a lot of people know, and I'm not no gardenista, but you know, hey, you got to learn something sometimes. So, of course, with our lovely pothos, of course, everyone knows that there are several different options of having a pothos. This one um, actually is a lily. And, you know, we just went ahead and we potted her, got it from a um, nursery, and just thought it was a great office piece. Um, and she's growing and she's thriving. One of the best things with a plant like this is they scrub the air clean. So, in this time where we've got dust, we've got mold, we've got dirt, we've got allergies. Well, and we've got, pand right. we got a pandemic going on, right? So, this is a wonderful plant. Here's the best part of this. They are about dirt cheap. Very. And when you got good friends that have these in their office, you just go over and you take the scissors and you make your own. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> so, give green is definitely an important thing. Plus, these guys will grow like crazy. And trust me, we will do another video as she is thriving and growing. So Miss Roslyn, our volunteer coordinator here, has a bunch of these in our office. And one of them has leaves trailing, not kidding you, about six feet. So if that's not really going to work in your um, house or your decor, mm -hmm. what do you do? It's super, super easy. And you've got kind of multiple options depending on how much effort you want to put into it. This is true. You can do super, super easy. This is true. Super complicated. And we kind of got a little bit of that oh, for you. We did forget to tell them. Doesn't even require a lot of light. Yes. Perfect houseplant. And really, if you have a black thumb or a brown thumb right. or a purple thumb or an orange thumb or whatever thumb you think that it's you perfect. have it's that you perfect. don't think you can like you know, grow plants, Trust this me. is the plant for you. All it basically needs is overhead lighting. Um, so just anywhere in your house. It doesn't have to go next to a window, anything like that. Here's the other thing is, if you're like me and you forget to water these things, <laughs> not gonna lie, this guy can basically turn almost brown and you give him a good watering, or maybe it's a sheep. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, should we, we should make, I don't yeah. know. So give it a good watering, and it pops up to all of its prettiness or handsomeness. Yes. You know? So super, super easy. So we're going to show you that today. So Nakia actually did a video previously. I should have did it. Where they actually did some propagating. And you want to tell them what propagating is? Okay. So one of the things that I learned during this course of time that we're in is that propagation a lot of times is one of the easiest things that you could do at home. All I did was I had a small little ZZ plant and the leaves were just like out of control. And I just clipped off a little piece from, you know, the plant and I just propagated it, meaning had some water. I changed the water, I want to say every three days. Um, so it really isn't bad. And I just allow and I'm waiting for roots and that's what propagation is. So you go ahead and you snip off a piece of a plant. Might be your favorite as you see. But, and you just go ahead and you put that part inside of standing water. Um, I didn't add anything to the water. I'm just waiting to go ahead and see as the plant is rooting. And I see a little bit coming through. It's going to show it up close to the oh yeah. yes, You know, it's a little bit is coming through. And again, it takes time. So, I'm just going to wait and see. So one of the things that is kind of a cool thing is that her ZZ here actually to propagate appropriately it has to be in water mm -hmm. and grow roots but something like this pothos and a lot of your ivy based plants they can be cut off and go straight into dirt so you can skip the middleman get out of here yeah see you super, something super every day easy. now we talked about you know we snipped this sweet little thing and stuck it into the water right mm -hmm. well here's kind of the don't to that. So we found this one hidden somewhere here at Wise and Well. Um, and if you look at it, like 
Someone did this, mm -hmm. so they stuck it in this cute little vase, they mm -hmm. filled it with water, but it looks like they forgot about it. So you want to stick it real close and let, yeah. you notice it's green, um, it's kind of slimy. So if you pull on it, yeah. like it's stuck, it's oh, completely wow. root bound here. So wow. this guy needs to be pulled out, mm -hmm. Clean water, rinse them. And to be honest, we probably could use to actually clip his roots okay. and then put him in the dirt. Yeah. Now, one of the fun things that you can do with one of these plants, and we're going to see if we can find a way to do this for everybody, because yeah. many of us are like stuck at home, right? Agreed. We're coming to work. But um, we're stuck at work and we're lonely. And, you know, you may not want to like walk a dog or like yeah. clean up after a hamster. This is true. But a fish. Ha! Did you know that you can take like a beta fish and put him in a big bowl and take this in there, drop your roots in there, and between your fish and the plants, they will feed each other. And it's super cool to be able to sit there. It's like having a TV that's not going to rot your brain. Who would have thought of that? It's so neat. So we're going to have to try to figure out where we can get yeah. our fish. Um, Stay tuned. Yeah. So tuned. there's so many really, really cool options with plants and to be able to really create like comfortable yeah. spaces. And it's fun to put your hands in the dirt. It is so therapeutic. I will say I was not the gardenista as I said before, but I really find some type of joy in actually having a plant inside of my office. I really wasn't one of those type of co-workers to have a plant inside the office and honestly I would use an artificial plant and I said well let me try it um and all that you have to do is just be one with the plant so you know I talk to the plant some days some people know that and then as a kid I was the one that overwarded the plants so <laughs> I'm starting to learn but it's a learning process and you know we have time to learn and it's what other better time than now so hey, so let's show you how to do this. Yeah. All right. So once your plant gets to a point that is kind of unruly for you, and or you happen along someone else, and you're like, "Ooh, that's a pretty plant. Can I have a piece of it?" And you sure can. Yes. So all I'm gonna do is like choose a nice long piece, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna clip it. And I'm gonna clip it. And get this close to you. Oh, that's Ooh, too right far. Here. Yeah. Hmm. So, see, I'm going to clip this piece right here, but I'm going to clip it down close to the root. And then I'm going to take this leaf off. So, because it's got a little nubby root that's trying to actually grow in the air. And so, this will give me multiple roots, whether I'm putting it in my water or Ooh. straight into my dirt. Oh, All right, so let's cut this. Okay. Cool. All right, I'll hold it. You cut it. How's right. that? That's fine. I'm going to cut it, like, right yep. in there. Right here. A little bit ahead. Uh, yeah. Right there. There you go. There we go. All right. And then let's pop that first so leaf off. Yep. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and take that leaf off. Oh, okay. Or actually, you know what? Mm -hmm. We could make this two. Right. If you clip it in between, then Ooh. we've got two. Okay. So how about we do that? Let me clip it right here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got two options here. Kind of depends on how long you want to wait, and um, how many clippings that you've got. Agreed. Sometimes you do both okay. because you have so many clippings. Because as I said, these guys grow. Right. So we can do one of two things. So this one here, see how it's like a V? Mm -hmm. This one would make great straight into our dirt because it's going to create roots going both directions. What's your okay. other one look like? Hmm. The other one. I mean, uh. Actually, you could take this one apart right here and okay. have three pieces. Oh. So why don't we put one of those pieces in the water okay. so we can show you later on down the line what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to choose this one. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. Then these, we're just going to directly plant. So I've just got um, a little cup with some moisture control potting soil. Um, moisture control is really nice. For those of us that oftentimes forget to water <laughs> and or like to overwater. Right. So it's a great way um, to do that. And this soil is a little dry, so we're going to have to water it at the end. So just poke them down in there. All right. And the nice thing when you do it this way, you can kind of create a configuration because they will start to grow together and to spread within your pot. So you can actually take four or five 
different leaves here and put them in and they will just pick up and go oh we gotta push this one in oh, so it's in right. as well because oh, we want right. that side to, oh, that's right. to grow too see look i'm learning every day it's so relaxing i know oh gosh <laughs> All right, so you want to tilt that yes. to them? So I put it in two opposite directions because I didn't want them to all be thriving and growing in the same direction. You don't want them to go ahead and get tangled. Let's take one more. Yeah, sure. That's not the intent. So, of course, I put one on one opposite end of the um, pot. And Serena is going to go ahead. Kind of yep. Throw one in here. Yep. Go in the other direction. There you go. So now we have three pieces, guys. So then all we really have to do is... For the initial, water it to the point where it just barely starts to drip out of the bottom. And this one, you want to actually sure, pull that out. Do that. So this pot, this ceramic pot here, doesn't have a hole in the bottom for drainage. Ah. However, these little silicone cups do, and it makes it really, really easy to take it out, to transplant it, to water it. Because you can just put this whole thing in your sink, let it drip as it needs yep. to, put it right back in here, and you don't end up with a watery mess. Awesome. So as I said, we're gonna water this until we get a couple of drops coming mm -hmm. out the bottom, and then it's just ready to go. Stick it on your desk in a window seal. Um, honestly, I love these around my tub at home. Yes, yes. The bathroom, you know, yes. it's always a little stinky anyway. But like, if you are taking a bath or something and you're kind of surrounded by this, it feels a little bit like yeah. you're in a spa. So mm -hmm. anywhere you want in these houses. The only kind of big thing with a pothos is, is they can't have super hot direct light. Agreed. Their leaves will burn up. Um, and so we don't want to do that. That's why these make such a great office yes. houseplant. I actually once um, had these in my office at my um, old job. Uh -huh. And I went on vacation for two weeks, and I forgot about my plant. And so when I came home, it looked like it was... She was a bad plant I mom. was a bad plant yeah. mom. It looked like it was dead. Good watering? Hello, beautiful again. So seriously, this is a great way to try your hand at yes. working on that green thumb. No better time than now. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Thanks. and we will have more of these types I know. of things soon. Stay tuned, because of course... We're going to show as they grow and they thrive. See you later. We got gotcha. you. Bye. Bye.